Welcome back. In the previous video, we introduced model-based scheduling, so now is a good time to talk about some of the scheduling tools in Synchro. So we've created these three activities in the previous video. Let's say I don't really like the order that these were made in, and I don't want to recreate them. I can change the order by simply selecting these activities, going to the plan ribbon, then I'm going to unlink all from the drop down here. And then I'm going to relink them in the order I want. So let's say we want 3, 1, 2. So I'm holding down the control key, clicking on the first, second, and last. And then I'm going to link them, link as chain. But be aware that this uses whatever relationship is selected in the drop down over here. In this case, it's finished to start. So I'll click link as chain, and you can see from the uh, suggestion here that there's a keyboard short key, control L. And now you can see from the arrows in the Gantt chart the order that we used. And you can reschedule the entire schedule or reschedule selected to apply these changes. In this case, I'll reschedule selected. And you'll see that even though the order didn't change over here, it changed in the Gantt chart. Now, the order didn't change over here because this uh, the sorting governs. So I can sort, for example, using start durations. And then we'll see that I can sort the other way around or remove the sorting altogether. Now I can unlink that and relink in the order I want. So one, two, three, and then control L and then reschedule selected. Or you can reschedule the entire project. However, be aware that when you reschedule the entire project, activities that have been started before the data date but not been actualized in Synchro will be pushed to the data date, just like any other scheduling software. Now let's look at some of the other scheduling tools we can use. Uh, for that, you can either open a new project or you can scroll all the way to the bottom. I'll just right click, collapse all, and use the white area at the bottom as if it was my new project. So you can create tasks by simply just typing in their names. So let's say task one, task, two, and so on. You can use just like Excel, the corner of the cell and drag and drop. So you have task three through seven. You can change the durations, five, five, five. You can also use this here and it will apply the durations. If you wanna have the same name for all the tasks without incrementing, you do the exact same thing. However, you hold down the control button and just apply the same name. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep them as tasks 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 through 7. And then you can see they were created on the data date. I can change the date over here. And by the way, if you don't like the fact that it says the time of day, you can always go back to options. And then under general, you can uncheck display time of day. And now it's just the start date. We can link those as chain like before. So I can just select the first, the last, control L because we saw the keyboard short key and then reschedule selected. And now they're linked as chain like that. I can undo and link them in a different order. For example, one, three, two, five, four, seven, six, control L and then reschedule selected. And now they're in the order I clicked on. Let's say task one is uh, concrete and then tasks two through seven are poor uh, one, and then I'm gonna update those names. And let's say those tasks uh, are linked as chain, so I'm gonna unlink all of those because I forgot to do that. And then link one through six, control L, and then reschedule selected. And let's say these pores are under concrete. I can look at the move button over here. There's indent, outdent, up and down. And if we just point at those, we can see the suggestion. So let's try those. So if I want to indent those, I'm going to hold Alt key and then do push the right key on my keyboard. And now these are part of concrete and concrete can be collapsible. I can outdent those. So Alt and then left. And now they're outside of concrete. I can move tasks around using Alt and up. So I'm moving the four 
And note, if, even if you do that and then sort by name, then the sorting always governs. And move is used when you want to move activities so that you can indent them. And then there's create above or below or as child. So far we've been creating by typing and then indenting, but you can use just create as child and it'll create one as child. And if you use the keyboard short key, control shift alt i in this case, then you can do that. I personally don't use this too much, but I do use the create above. So if you look here, there's create above and that's control i. I use this, for example, if I created uh, pour one, two, three, four, five, then I can use control I and say concrete and then select everything underneath and then alt right to indent those. Now, later on, as the project progresses, you can update the data date and status activities by just right clicking and then progress, start or finish, and you can do multiple tasks at once. Let's say start and you can say the plan start the remaining duration or the percent complete, or if it's finished, then you specify the start and finish dates. And automatically it suggests the plant start or the plant finish. You can switch to data date or choose your own date and use those. So before you move on to the next video, make sure you practice these either on a new project or at the bottom of your schedule. And then when you're done, you can simply collapse and delete all of these newly created activities and move on to the next video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.